Test results are in for a muddy pond. Neighbors are worried it's contaminated with toxins right next to our area's main water supply. Now the developer tells us the test show they've got it all wrong. Channel 2's Barrett Peterson is live along Buford Dam Road in Forsyth County. Barrett, some neighbors are not ready to give up their fight. Well, if you look down there, the water is muddy, you can see for yourself. But the tests were looking for toxins like arsenic, and the developer says the results prove that water is safe and that the opposition to the construction of hundreds of homes on this property should stop. This pond along Lake Lanier in Forsyth County may be muddy, but tests show it's apparently clean. Well, obviously, uh, that's a very positive outcome. I mean, our primary concern the whole time was the safety of the drinking water. It sits on the property of the old Lanier Golf Club, which is being demolished to make way for hundreds of new homes. Residents of a neighboring townhome community who opposed the development demanded county leaders test the water for toxins. Preliminary results show the presence of pesticides and herbicides were below detection limits. But some who've been against the development from the start show no signs of giving in. I think it's worthy of a, of a fight. I think it's worthy of a legal action. Developer Danny Bennett told Channel 2 the county had no authority to test on private property, but says accusations of toxins in the water have now been debunked. While some of the neighbors still want soil tests as well, a few say they're now willing to bury the hatchet. I think it's an individual decision. I, I guess from my own standpoint, personal standpoint, now that we know the water's safe, if all parties want to make nice and, and play nice, I'm, I'm certainly willing to. Now, the county manager was not available for an interview on this today. A county commissioner is being sued by the developer for allegedly opposing the housing project. Point line for Forsyth County, Baron Peterson, Channel 2 Action News.